Hey guys, it's Emily here. BTS have already had another comeback with their song Life Goes On. I did check out the teasers. From the teasers alone, it looks like it's going to be emotional and I'm in a really emotional mood, so I'm scared. If you don't know, I've been with BTS since Blood, Sweat, Tears era, so yeah, I guess like up to now it's been a long time, but a lot of my friends have been fans since the boys debut like they've been big fans i unfortunately wasn't into k-pop at that time and i'm really sad that i weren't but yeah anyway um my bias is namjoon i love him to pieces my bias record is j-hope love him to pieces my second bias record is all of them love him to pieces i love bts there are english captions so let's go i'm quite nervous <laughs> my first ever reaction on this channel was bts i believe yeah Wow, bloody handsome, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. So it's about this year, isn't it? It's about 2020. Yeah. His flow. Oh, because it can't go anywhere. A warm breath. That's powerful. I love how it's so like um, dim as well. Like despite them all being together, it's like a gloomy video. Mm. <laughs> what does this remind what's that reminding me of I'll write it you'll have seen it oh mm -mm -mm -mm. Aww. It's um quite low budget as well, isn't it? Like it seems like they made it themselves. Wow. He looks really sad. Oh, he's got in his inner earpiece. Are they on stage? Oh, imagine listening to this on stage. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Huh. Yes. <laughs> You know, I, I was thinking, like, maybe I'll hold it together. Maybe I'll do really well holding it together. Um, I did until the... 
bloody very end. God, it baffles me that people can dislike BTS and their music simply because they're popular without actually taking into account the fact that they're singing about issues and topics that relate to a lot of people and that affect a lot of people. You know, they've constantly been singing about something that can touch all of us. I think it's ridiculous that they can get hate for that, for doing nothing other than spread love and good messages to everyone. Gosh, what a touching song though. I think it's so hard for me to see this as a comeback because it's so like touching and deep and meaningful. I think that something like Dynamite, obviously because it's upbeat, not all artists have to release upbeat songs, no, but it's usually like the title song is really upbeat and jazzy and snazzy and all that, you know, um, and then the B-side tracks are kind of deep and meaningful and it's kind of switched this time around with this comeback. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> why, why is it making me so emotional? Dang, it's getting so hard for me to speak right now. I think probably because, um, especially this year, uh, the, the world has kind of halted and I don't know, I've always kind of uh, worried about my future. Like always, I'm always worried about what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it and then all this happens and your fears for the future just like triple oh my gosh i'm a mess <laughs> i think it is a really scary thing that people are having to deal with these days um mostly this year and it's just the worry for next year and everything but as bts are saying life goes on and no matter what situation you're facing or whatever position you're put in um, just remember to live your life the way you want to. Don't be scared of anything that you feel like you can't do or won't be able to do. Just go out there and do it. I should stop this video as I'm just going to become more of a mess. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!